Millions of Obama's freeloading welfare abusers woke up this morning furious at New Rule by Liberty Bell for DailyVine.com. Say what? <laughs> I might add that in. <laughs> During Barack Obama's presidency, he created an entire generation of freeloading welfare abusers across the country by making it easy for people to receive them. However, not only did Obama make it easier for everyone in the nation to receive these benefits, he also made it possible for illegal immigrants and refugees to obtain them as well. So when Donald Trump campaigned for president, he promised that he would cut back on these welfare programs. And he is not about to go back on his promises as million on his promises as millions of Obama's freeloaders found out this morning. <laughs> you could just imagine. The purpose of welfare is to help people, yes, absolutely, who are struggling financially to get back on their feet while going through hard times. Absolutely agree with that. However, over the last several decades, the role of welfare has become more of a lifestyle choice then a stepping stone to something better. Over the last several years, the number of people living on welfare only increased, causing financial issues for our country that needed to be resolved quickly. After President Trump was elected, he began to implement several programs that would cut back welfare programs on the federal level. And of course, the left and lazy welfare recipients have cried foul. Well, if they thought that was bad, wait till they hear what the state of West Virginia just voted to do. In an overwhelming show of support, West Virginia lawmakers greenlighted a bill that would make welfare recipients work at least 20 hours a week to receive the taxpayer-funded benefits. Here is more from Breitbart. The state Senate voted 26 to 6 to require West Virginia residents ages 18 to 49 who are not disabled, pregnant, or military veterans and do not have dependent children to work a minimum of 20 hours per week to receive food stamp benefits through the Supplemental Nutrition Pro Assistance Program SNAP. The bill already passed the West Virginia House in a 78 to 19 vote. 46 of the 55 counties in West Virginia had waivers that would exempt them from having to comply with federal guidelines mandating that able-bodied adults without dependent children have to work or volunteer to receive benefits. Federal law mandates that the work requirements be implemented nationwide but it allows states to obtain waivers for individual counties in their 12-month average unemployment rate goes up uh, above 10%, or if the 24-month average unemployment rate is 20% more than the national average. The federal guidelines requiring benefit recipients to work to receive those benefits were originally introduced during former President Bill Clinton's administration in 1996. Yeah, he should do that. How about giving us some of that charity uh, that uh, Hillary has collected into that foundation? I'm sure that could go around real well and take care of things. States have tried implementing work requirements for benefit recipients for years, but efforts in many state legislatures stalled because of the 2009 economic stimulus put in place by the Obama administration to respond to the 2008 recession. Once the economy recovered from the recession and those waivers expired, states such as Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, and North Carolina phased in the work requirements by county and uh, all have experienced significant decreases in SNAP enrollment. Of course, the left will begin to scream that somehow this is racist, but it isn't really. Everyone in the country works to pay their bills and to provide food for their family since we all know that nothing is free. So why in the world would it be free for anyone else? Well, the answer is actually pretty devious, and it all boils down to control. 
The global elite, which is filled with leftists and some rhinos, are working hard to destroy our country and economy to push for a one-world government. If they can crash our economy, then it makes it much easier to force this sort of tyranny upon the people. But those plans were thwarted the moment that President Trump was elected. Now that Trump is in the White House, he is busy building our country back to its former glory by cutting programs that only have harmed our nation and supporting state leaders for doing the same. It's, uh, it will take time for us to see positive changes, but we are on the right track and that is all that matters. Hopefully more states will follow West Virginia's lead and make welfare recipients work for their benefits instead of handing them out like candy. Maybe then these freeloading welfare abusers will understand that nothing in the world is free and if they want something they need to work hard just like all the rest of us. You see their goal? That's why Obama brought the deficit out of all the presidents. He doubled the deficit out of all the presidents combined. So what does that tell you? you? If you were running a household like that, what does that tell you about the household? Either you're nuts or you're intentionally trying to destroy it. So, and that's exactly what Obama was going to do, was doing, and Hillary would have finished the job off, you see? And also, they wanted to finish everything off so they wouldn't get caught in their crimes because they'd bring everybody down to a third world nation. Everybody would be scrambling to make a living, wondering how they're going to survive. Uh, and everything would have been swept under the rug and they would have robbed whatever left of the money was. They would have robbed us blind also, uh, whatever was left. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.